Hey, Popcorn Kid family. Well, tonight is Taco Tuesday. Can you tell? Okay. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. And boy, do I have a fun story for you. Tonight's story is called The Monkey and the Crocodile. Any of you who've ever read this story before know that this is an all-time classic. It is incredible. So let's get started. You know I want to share that you are the greatest. Let's share that. You are the greatest, greatest thing to yourself. As I keep saying, remember to tell yourself that you are the greatest. You're the greatest. Affirm that to yourself. Say, I am the greatest. All right, let's get started. Get some popcorn. Mm -hmm. Get something to drink. Lips up a little bit. Mmm, mmm, good. Mmm, mmm. Okay, ready? You ready, popcorn kit? Because you are the greatest. Here we go. Let's start. The monkey and the crocodile. Let's make sure you can see this. The monkey and the crocodile by Paul Galdon. Beside a river in the jungles stood a tall mango tree. In the tree lived many monkeys. They swung from branch to branch, eating fruit and chattering to each other. Look at all these monkeys. Look at the monkeys and the mangoes. So playful. Hungry crocodiles swam in the river and sunned themselves on the banks. Look at all of them. Enjoying the sun. One young crocodile was hungrier than all the rest. He could never get enough to eat. The young crocodile watched the monkeys for a long time. Then one day he said to a wise old crocodile, I'd like to catch one of those monkeys and eat him. Oh my gosh. Can you already tell the outcome of this story? Mm -mm -mm -mm. How would you ever catch a monkey? Asked the old crocodile. You do not travel on land, and monkeys do not travel in the water. Besides, they're quicker than you are. They may be quicker, said the young crocodile, but I am more cunning. You'll see. More cunning. He thinks he's smart, doesn't he? Let's see what happens. Oh, my taco hat. Taco Tuesday. Okay, let me get back to the story. For the days the crocodile swam back and forth, studying the monkeys all the while. Then he noticed one young monkey who was quicker than all the others. This monkey loved to jump to the highest branches of all the trees 
and pick ripe mangoes at the very, very top. He's the one that I want, the crocodile said to himself. But how am I going to catch him? Ooh, he's already thinking, thinking up a plan. How am I going to catch him? The crocodile thought and thought, and at last, he had an idea. How do you think he's going to catch him? The crocodile can't climb the tree, and monkeys don't get in the water. What's he going to do? How's he going to catch him? Look at this face. Look at him. thinking of a plan to catch the monkey. Do you want him to catch him? Do you want him to catch him? Monkey, he called. Wouldn't you like to come with me over to the island where the fruit is so ripe? Oh, yes, said the monkey. But how can I go with you? I do not swim. I'll take you on my back, said the crocodile with a toothy smile. Look at him. Oh, he's smiling. And the monkey wants some light fruit. What's the outcome going to be? Let's see. The monkey was eager to get to the fruit, so he jumped down on a crocodile's back. Off we go, said the crocodile, gliding through the water. This is a fine ride you're giving me, said the monkey. Do you think so? Well, how do you like this, asked the crocodile, and suddenly he dived down in the water. Oh, please don't cry, the monkey, as he went under. He was afraid to let go, and he did not know what to do. When the crocodile came up, the monkey sputtered and choked. Why would you take me underwater, crocodile, he asked. You know I can't swim. Because I am going to drown you, replied the crocodile. And then I'm going to eat you. Mm. Have you ever tried cheese popcorn? Popcorn kettle. Oh, it's good. Mm -mm. Okay, where do we leave off? He said, and then I'm going to eat you. The monkey shivered in fear, but he thought quickly. And before the crocodile dived again, he said, well, I wish you had told me you wanted to eat me before. If I had known that, I would have brought my heart. Your heart? Asked the crocodile. Yes, it's the tastiest part of me, but I left it behind in the tree. Mm. He's thinking of a plan. Look at the monkey's face. Look at the crocodile. That toothy smile. Come on, eat the monkey. Lord have mercy. Come on, eat the monkey. Then we must go back and get it, said the crocodile, turning around. If it's the tastiest part, we got to go back and get it. But we're so near the island, said the monkey. Please take me there first. No, said the crocodile. First, I'm taking you straight to the tree. You will get your heart and bring it to me at once. Then we will go and see about getting fruit at the island. 
Very well, said the monkey. Crocodile. And the crocodile headed back to the riverbank. You see the monkey's face? He, he has a plan, doesn't he? No sooner did the monkey jump onto the bank than up he swung into the tree from the highest branch he called down to the crocodile. My heart is all the way up here. If you want it, come and get it. Come on, come for it. And he laughed and laughed and laughed while the crocodile thrashed in anger. That night, the monkey moved far down the river from the mango tree. He wanted to get away from the crocodile so he could live in peace. Look at him laughing. Look at the crocodile. He's mad. Look at the monkey. But the crocodile was still determined to catch him. He searched and searched and finally he found the monkey living in another tree. Here, a large rock rose out of the water halfway between the monkey's new home and the island. The crocodile watched the monkey jumping from the riverbank to the rock and then to the island where the fruit trees were. Monkey will stay on the island all day, thought to himself, and I'll catch him on his way home tonight. Look at the monkey. He doesn't even have any idea that the crocodile's watching him. Oh, what's going to happen? What do you think's going to happen? The monkey had a fine feast while the crocodile swam about watching him all day. Towards night, he crawled out of the water and lay on the rock perfectly still. When it grew dark among the trees, the monkey started for home. He ran down the riverbank and there he stopped. What's the matter with that rock? The monkey started wondering, there's something, hmm, something different about that rock. Hmm. I never saw it so high before. Something must be lying on it. Hmm. Look. Look at that. Monkey knows something's wrong with the rock. The monkey went to the water's edge and called, Hello, rock. Hello, rock. There was no answer. He called again. Hello, rock. There was still no answer. Three times the monkey called and then he said, why is it friend rock that you do not answer me tonight? Oh, said the crocodile to himself, the rock must talk to the monkey at night. I'll have to answer for the rock this time. So he answered, yes, monkey, what is it? Is, is that crocodile as smart as he thought he was? Do you know any rocks that talk? The monkey is kind of smart. The monkey laughed and said, Oh, it's you, crocodile. Is it? Yes, said the crocodile. And I'm waiting here for you. And I am going to eat you
You have certainly caught me this time, said the monkey, sounding afraid. How do you think he said it? Ooh, you have certainly caught me this time. Probably shaking and everything. There's no other way for me to go home. Open your mouth wide so I can just jump right into it. Now the monkey knew very well that when the crocodile opened up his mouth wide, they shut their eyes. Lord have mercy, that monkey. It's pretty smart, isn't he? Look at the crocodile. Look at the monkey. He's convincing the crocodile to open his mouth up wide because if he does that, he won't be able to see what's going to happen. Oh, what's going to happen? So while the crocodile lay on the rock with his mouth wide open, his eyes shut, and the monkey jumped, but not into his mouth. He wasn't going to jump in the crocodile's mouth. Are you kidding me? He landed on the top of the crocodile's head and then sprang up quickly to the river bank. Up he ran into his tree. Look at that monkey. Look at the monkey. He doesn't look scared. Look at, look at the crocodile. Look at his eyes. When the crocodile saw the trick the monkey had played on him, he said, Monkey, I thought I was cunning, but you are much more cunning than I, and you know no fear. I will leave you alone after this. Thank you, crocodile, said the monkey, but I shall be on the watch for you just the same. And so he was, and the crocodile never, never caught him. Are you a monkey or are you a crocodile? Which one are you? There might be some people who might be both. Funny thing is, this last part. Very interesting, it says. The last part's very interesting. The crocodile said, Monkey, I thought I was cunning, but you are much more cunning than I, and you have no fear. I will leave you alone after this. That's the part that stood out with me. Have no fear. Popcorn Kit family, when you're confronted with somebody, you have to show them, I'm not afraid. Because if you show fear, they're going to keep on bothering you. And many times you're not afraid. Have no fear. Make sure that you always are one or two steps ahead. It's okay to be afraid, but you still have to do what you have to do. But don't show your fear. This monkey was playing games with him, and the crocodile thought he was so smart. We know people just like that. Popcorn Kid Gang, let's hang in there, and let's get this done. Have no fear. Are you the monkey, or are you the crocodile? Let's get this done. Love you guys. We will be back, I hope, later this week with another story. Love you guys.